Okay, welcome everyone to the presentation from Data Medica for the Google Next meeting. Um, we're privileged to come and talk to you. Two of us are here today. Phil Shelley, I'm one of the founders of Data Medica, and I'm the president. And Rajesh, would you like to introduce yourself? Um, sure. Hi, hey everyone. Uh, this is Rajesh Rai. I am the vice president. Okay, so um, why modernize the cloud, first of all? Just a quick refresher, and just in case uh, anyone is not already on board with modernizing to the cloud, I'll give you a few pointers as, as to why we see that. Uh, one of the leading reasons is cost, of course. Uh, legacy data warehousing and analytics, BI, ETL, very expensive solutions. We routinely see quite large cost reductions, and you'll see that in a later slide. Um, managed services are hugely helpful for people. Lower labor overhead, you're not running a data warehouse, you have minimal requirements for um, DBAs or uh, infrastructure people. Um, scalable and highly available for two very important things that um, as a customer of data warehousing, Rajesh and I over the years, we've been stuck with a certain capacity and uh, very difficult to flex that up and down for seasonal workload. Uh, not so on cloud, we can have almost infinite and instantaneous scalability and high, high availability. Anybody had a data center outage, which I have in my career, um, it's very difficult to even with uh, high availability copies of data to really run your business in a, in a real outage. But these cloud solutions are highly available by nature and by default. Uh, performance is typically better than anything we've ever had uh, with on-premise solutions. And the time to market is much, much faster because we have such great flexibility on clouds. What we do is build a parallel environment on Google Cloud here. So this would be, for, let's say, a, a big query. We'd have data pipelines feeding. The new data pipelines, pipelines would feed from the same source systems in parallel. We're not touching this production system up here. In parallel, we're going to feed our new Google Cloud big query environment. Um, we're going to use our Raven conversion service to convert the scripts, ETLs, stored procedures, uh, BTEX, and other, other uh, special code that may exist on a legacy environment. We're going to convert that into a native Google uh, code platform, which will be largely BigQuery in many cases. Um, so now we have on this side a parallel environment, which would be BigQuery based, running exactly the same workload from the same sources as your existing production legacy um, data warehouse. We're not going to touch this, as I said. We're going to leave it running in parallel. And then we make sure the two systems are matched using our Pelican tool, which does cell level validation continuously between the two systems. In other words, now we know the data in BigQuery coming through the new data pipelines, the data in BigQuery is exactly matching at a cell level the data coming through the old pipelines into, say, your data warehouse. So take techniques and tools. Let's go into that a bit more. So we got a pre-migration -assess, pre assessment. How do you understand the lineage, the dependencies, what tables feed which other tables? Um, how do you understand that? How do you understand the column level lineage? Well, there's a, there's a machine learning based tool that we have called Eagle that does that through a log and code analysis. We get into the migration then. How do we transform that code, the SQLs, the ETLs, reports? Uh, again, we have our Raven conversion service that does that. How do we reconcile and validate data at a cell level continuously running in parallel like I showed you? We do that through our Pelican validation service. And then post migration, there are still optimization opportunities. Um, but today we're going to focus on these main migrations, um, planning them and then executing the migration itself. So how do you get started? Uh, Rajesh is going to pick it up from here. Thanks, Phil. How to get started? We typically start with a complimentary workshop, which is about 60 to 90 minutes in duration. Through these workshops, we learn about your current data ecosystems, tooling, tech stack, et cetera, and give you a detailed overview of our capabilities and also touch on some of your pain points you may be experiencing in the current system. This then leads into three outcomes, rapid POC, funded pilot, or Eagle discovery assessment. For the first two, uh, it's typically pre-funded, and all you have to do is come up with a few use cases, preferably your existing pain points, so it helps us to demonstrate the solution through POC. We deliver this using Agile methodology, which is sprint-based, low-risk modernization method. Now, when it comes to um, the source uh, workloads, we handle data warehouses, Hadoop systems, complex uh, legacy systems, 
or even uh, streaming as well. Um, and finally, uh, some more details on pre-funded uh, rapid POC. It comes in uh, different sizes, uh, which is uh, driven by use case, volumetric, and timeline, either two weeks, four weeks, or 10 weeks. From an outcome perspective, we do complete um, readout with we do complete readout with cost and performance comparisons, fixed bid migration, cost in terms of what will it take to move your EDW from on-prem to the cloud, technical and architectural blueprints, best practices, and operational annual cost to run your data warehouse in the cloud. Now, with that, I'll hand it over back to Phil for final closing words. We'll just close with, I can go back a couple of slides. This is how we would uh, encourage you to contact us um, through your uh, Google representatives or directly to Data Medica. But um, we stand ready, Rajesh and I and our organizations, um, to help you with your journey to the cloud. Uh, workshops are almost always the first place to start. We don't really need very much in place to do a workshop. We might need an NDA. That's about all. Uh, it's complimentary, so you don't have any paperwork. Um, this rapid POC program and rapid uh, and funded pilot program is very important. Google has been very generous um, in funding a lot of those. Um, so there's almost no paperwork, again, just a project charter to get those going as long as you qualify for that. Um, and our Eagle tool is always stands ready to do a very deep, deep, deep dive. So these are the ways to contact us uh, to start. And um, we'd be uh, very honored to uh, work with you on any of your migrations. So thank you very much, and uh, I look forward to working with you.